The Ministry of Petroleum Resources convened this sectoral retreat for heads of agencies and top management staff of the ministry to discuss ways to enhance development in the oil and gas sector. The permanent secretary opened the meeting with a reminder about the importance of capacity, commitment, collaboration and accountability. We will implement the employment performance management system to the fullest. This initiative will ensure that accountability is ingrained in our operation, driving efficiency and excellence across the sector. The oil and gas sector, with its own narrative challenges, such as oil theft, appears to be on a promising path, and the ministers want that enhanced. We are tackling the issue of insecurity. You know, we are also you know, tackling the issue of popular vitalization. We are, you know, doing whatever we can to see how we can attract investment on a sustainable basis, not just in the upstream, but also in the midstream and then in the downstream. It's also an obligation to see how we can create the best environment for investments to come in. We have investments in Bunga, not alone. We have over $5 billion investment this year. But that is predicated on certain things that we need to do. We are moving on the bottlenecks. We are taking some very proactive steps. We are ensuring that our environment is globally competitive. One of the key elements in our transition towards a more sustainable energy future lies in the strategic utilization of natural gas. First and foremost, we must prioritize infrastructure development to support the exploration, production, processing, and distribution of gas. This includes investment in gas pipelines, liquefied natural gas LNG facilities, and gas processing plants. To Heads of agencies and top management staff of the Petroleum Ministry are expected to come up with ideas at this retreat that will change the trajectory of the sector in Nigeria. From the nation's capital, Kumbi Abolu Channel Television News.